Hello friends of the French Foreign Legion, I am greeting you. Isn't it great to see our earth turning and turning and turning around all over the years? And isn't it normal that we all take the responsibility that it goes on like this? For our children? For the next generations? I think yes. So when I came to French Guiana in 1985, you're just coming from Airport Rochambeau Cayenne, sitting on Marmon small trucks and driving through the gate of Cartier Forger. The first thing we saw at the left side was the Poste de Police, what means the guardhouse. And to the right side on a small hill, you could see the statue was a soldier from Tonkin, made in iron and copper, you know, and the the prison, prison inmates of the French Foreign Legion, they gave him the name Manolito. And Manolito had his chin on his fist and he was looking northeast straight to Cayenne. And the prison inmates, their job was to clean nickel chrome Manolito every day so that our commander in chief, the chef de corps, was happy every, every and each day. <laughs> Great thing, no? So, um, everybody has to get up, get, get down from the marmon, and we have to come together in a rassemblement. Then, suddenly, a uh, first class appears, it's kind of uh, private, private first class, and he asked us, who of you guys is from the third company? Yeah? And... We were looking at each other. We are only two have been commanded through the third company. It was Oliver, the Wildgans, Le Vazovage, and me. And then Oliver said, Yes, we both. And you? Are you also coming from, from the third company? And this was fatal, I think, because we didn't knew, we didn't knew that uh, in the beginning we have to use the formal terms of address also for first classes. So we found ourselves lying on the ground and making <laughs> push-ups, 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 yeah. until our nose was lying in the mud. <laughs> okay, but this was a funny story. Uh, besides, I'm, I'm, I'm talking a, a little bit around third REI before then I go in in the deep forest, before I talk about operations and all the rest of stuff, you know. I know, I know you are interested in this but you have to be patient. So finish with making push-ups. <laughs> we were marching directly to the third company and we had something to do, some, some, uh, some uh, formal things, admin administrative things, but maybe for 20 minutes. And then we have to get up in the first floor where our rooms were. It, rooms is not uh, the perfect word because we have been six men in a big apartment because the, the, the whole building was was for civilian guys, you know. So we lived in a big apartment, six men. And when you enter the apartment, to the left side, we have a VC, a toilet. To the right side, you have a room for two caparos. Caparos, yes. And straight ahead, a big saloon, one television, six chairs, six chairs, uh, six, uh, one table. Uh, to the right side, a balcony with mosquito net. Then you go ahead, left side a big kitchen with everything you need for a big kitchen you, you know to cook yourself and we have been, there have been another room behind with four beds for all the military rooms you know the normal soldiers and i think our lodgement our lodge were, were perfect you know perfect but it was not very important because the most of the time we spent to spend in the jungle in the deep jungle so uh, what i'm telling you today is a little bit uh, uh, to the left a little bit to the right make some conversation bring you in the ambience because the next series the next clips would be operation mission profonde mission fluvial going into the adventure and the deep forest you know um in the second company we have been, we have been no we had a lot of british guys and a lot of guys, a lot of British, having served in the second rep before, older legionaries, you know, having all, having already three, four, five years of service. And they had a specially uh, ceremony to say hello to the greenhorn, to the newcomers. So 
all the newcomers had to come together in the cool war. And the caporal is coming. The whole section was there right? behind him. Also a big smile. <laughs> and and uh, and the caporal give everybody a Cronenberg, a bottle, not a can like this, yeah, but a bottle, the green color of green bottle. And then everybody has to drink his Cronenberg in one row. If he couldn't do it, <whistles> fatally. Okay? But to be fair, the caporal drinks every time with with them, you know. So in the end of the in the end of the history, the couple had drank about uh, five or six Cronenberg, and each of the newcomers have to drink one. Okay, if he wasn't able, or if he was, no matter, they have to pass the ceremony, and the ceremony was what? The couple had put him a helmet on the on the head. I only have the German helmet here from the German ground forces. I don't have the French helmet from our time, but you will understand what I mean. So they have to put the helmet on the head. <laughs> they have to take the bottle of Kronenburg. I don't have a Kronenburg, but, but this is, will be good. And they have to take the bottle and break it on the, break it on the helmet. So all the beer was splashing to the right and to the left. It was a full bottle, of course, you know. And then, and then, one of the older legionnaires opened the window. To remember you, we are on the first floor. So... Three, four meters, three, four, right? And all the newcomers, all the greenhorns, has to go to the window and jump out, out of the window, like for a steady line jump in the in the airplane, like paratroopers. <laughs> go, 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 go. Sometimes one of the newcomers break his leg or, or other things, but most of the time it was okay. And then they have to find themselves in a savage gutter, Savage gutter, 60 centimeters large, 50 centimeters deep, stinking and muddy inside, you know, a lot of water also. And the whole section stands with a full beer, a, a, a bottle of Kronenburg to the left and to the right, about 30 legioners. And while there, were, the newcomers were crawling in the savage gutter, you know, or rampe, rampe, crawling, everybody empties the bottle of beer. Uh, above them <laughs> so it was it was a funny ceremony to say hello welcome in the third rei okay we have a lot of funny things like this and uh and not every time it turns out well okay but next time the, the maybe the next day the sergeant or the caporal finds himself in the, in the in prison in the legion's prison and believe me Le legion's prison is not very good okay but this is to say to make you all these stories are around my adventure in French Guiana is just to make you in a certain ambiente, in a certain ambiance. Because very soon I will start with the real adventure. Okay? Thanks for your time you give to me and, and thanks for your presence on my channel. Amitié, légionnaire, yours, Thomas Gast. No, stop. The song of the third company in French Guiana was Dans la brume la rocaille. I know that I'm not the best singer, but you shouldn't miss it. <laughs> Ready, steady, we're go. Dans la brume, la rocaille, le jour a tu combat. Malgré la nuit, la mitraille, le jour a tu vaincre. Malgré l'un à mille à mitraille, le jaune a tu combat. So, I'm not a perfect singer, and as a colonel trusty, our first commander in chief, every, every time when the third company marched singing through the place of Rassemblement, and we were singing this song, and he, he was screaming from far, Oh, fucking third company, you are singing like Italians. <laughs> he forgot that he himself was an Italian guy. So he made his way from a... He was a foreigner in the French army, of course. And he made his way uh, from the bottom, from coming from nothing, from a simple legionnaire up to commander-in-chief of the third REI. This is great and this is stunning. More majorum. Thanks for your patience. See you next. Amitié, légionnaire.